mathematician. In this exploration, you're going to be working with a partner um, to dig deeper into negative exponents. Now, to start, I want you to pause me and work together to evaluate these three powers. Come back when you're ready. All right, for the first one, this is the same as the reciprocal of 3 to the positive 3 power, which is 127. The next one is equal to the reciprocal 1 over 2 to the positive 6, or 164. And then finally, this is the same as 1 over 4 squared, or 1 to the 16th. Remember that Newton invented negative exponents so that he could write reciprocals of powers as powers themselves. They had nothing to do with negative numbers. He wanted to be able to write a reciprocal of a power as a power itself. And he used that negative net exponent to represent that. Now notice I can put this over one. And I think this is really cool because these two fractions are reciprocals of each other with the slight modification that their exponents are opposites of each other. One is positive and the other is negative. All right, are you and your partner ready for your challenge? Um, here it is. I want you to figure out what one to the a to the negative n power. How can you write that using only positive exponents? Pause me, give it some thought, and then come back when you're ready. Welcome back. All right, did you figure out that this is the same as simply a to the n? Now, if not, please pause me again and go back and think some more about this. I want you to be able to figure out how can you get from 1 over a to the negative n to a to the n. If you think some more and you feel stuck, grab a classmate or grab me and let's think through it together. All right, I think this is really cool because notice, um, again, I'm going to put this over 1. Just like these were reciprocals of each other with the exponents being opposites of each other, these two things are also reciprocals of each other with the exponents being opposites of each other. All right, let's record your findings now in your um, exponent summary table. So if you don't have it, pause me, grab your math journal, and open up to that page. All right, let me go over to mine. Here's mine. And we're going to add something here to the last row that talks about negative exponents. And we're going to add that we know that 1 over a to the n is just the same as a to the negative n. And remember, we can work these any of these patterns in either order. So a great example of that is 3 to the negative 2 is the same as 1 over 3 squared. Reciprocals with the exponent changing from one positive, one negative. Um, similarly, if we had 1 over a to the negative n, that's the same as a to the positive n. So for example, if we had 1 over 2 to the negative 6, this is just the same as 2 to the 6th power. All right. Um, and again, we can write these in any order, the equation, so it doesn't matter which way you think about it. Let's end now with one last challenge. I'm going to give you a little uh, expression. 2 to the negative third over 3 to the negative 2. Please pause me and work with your partner to write this with using only positive exponents, no negative exponents. Pause me and come back when you're ready. Welcome back. Did you get that this is the same as 3 squared over 2 cubed? If so, you're good to go. You're out of here. Um, uh, go to the next thing in the playlist, which is to do a little practice. If not, uh, let's work this together. All right, so 2 to the negative third over 3 to the negative 2. I'm going to split this up into multiplication, where I'm going to write this as 2 to the negative 3 over 1 times 1 over 3 to the negative 2. When I look at this one, I know that any number raised to a negative exponent is the same as the reciprocal raised to a positive number. Same thing is true here. I have a negative exponent. That's the same as the reciprocal 
raised to a positive exponent. Let's multiply those things back together. And we get three squared over two cubed. Mathematicians, I hope this helps you think a little deeper about negative exponents. And really remember negative exponents, nothing to do with negative numbers. They're just a way of writing reciprocals by changing that um, exponent from positive to negative. If you have any questions, please um, ask me and we can talk about it together. All right, I'll see you soon. Bye.